Hi everybody, it's Kim from Patriot Garden. Now I'm here in the greenhouse. I'm giving my garlic and spinach that are growing out here a little boost of nutrients because the weather's about to really perk up and we're supposed to have some days in the 50s next week here in Connecticut. I'm looking forward to these plants making a huge surge in growth and being able to move our seedlings out here soon. But this video really is about gardening with kids. So I thought I'd lay out my philosophy first. <laughs> And then I could show you some ideas to engage children and get them interested. Gardening is one of the things that I remember most about my childhood. Uh, my parents were always outdoorsy people. We took vacations that were outdoors. We had a garden, a uh, big garden. We would eat from it all summer long. My mother is a great cook. My sister and I developed an appreciation for good fresh food. Uh, but we also ate a lot from the grocery store and we were not looking at our garden as any more than a hobby uh, and a way to get some fresh beans and tomatoes in the summertime. I think gardening gives kids an appreciation for the work of farmers. Food is in abundance in the grocery store all the time. I mean, other than this last year, which really shocked a lot of people. I mean, kids go to nature preserves and they go to farms and they meet the farmer, but I don't think they really appreciate sometimes the effort that it takes to grow and distribute food to people and how major an event it was that the grocery shelves were empty and how shocking that was to a lot of people. Kids should also learn the progression from planting seeds to eating food as well. It will teach them a way to eat healthier It'll give them a standard by which to live their adult life when they're given the opportunity to eat really good food when they're kids and know where that food comes from. Uh, they'll be more discriminating. They possibly won't buy those winter tomatoes anymore because they've been grown up on summer tasting tomatoes. And I would think that if you are teaching your kids gardening, you are not only teaching them how to be self-sustainable, but you're also teaching them how to be consumers of good, fresh food so that when they're adults, they can make the choices that are best for them and for their families. I think Kids in the Garden is also a way to be very interdisciplinary. If you are a first time homeschooling mom or dad because your kid's been quarantined since last March and you're wondering about lessons in science and math and music, there are so many things to wrap around the experiences that they'd have in the garden. I mean, science is the obvious one, right? The development of a plant, the parts of a plant, the vocabulary, and then there's the math part of it, the planning of the garden, the making of the garden beds, the constructing of it. All of these are real life lessons that make uh, learning relevant for kids. Well, that math and that science work that they're doing while they're growing food for their bodies will make a huge difference in their lives. The other thing I've realized is that probably why I've been able to make it through uh, this year without getting sick is because I am outside all the time. And that being outside and being part of nature, I think is not only mentally good for kids, I think it's also a way to keep their bodies physically healthy. Um, and if they're outside digging in the dirt and playing and being part of nature, that's going to help them in so many ways with their mental and their physical health. Now, when you're growing with kids, gardening needs to be something, if you're just starting with them, something that they can see results quickly. One of the ideas that you'll see at the end of this video is the plastic bag uh, greenhouse. The greatest seeds in those are the ones that sprout very quickly. So things like pumpkins and peas and beans so that they can see things happening. They're not going to stay interested if the seed takes two weeks to germinate and then another week and a half to two weeks to get its true leaves. I mean, let's face it, we need to see these changes happen quickly. We're going down to check our seeds daily and when there's not changes being made, we're like, come on, let's go, let's go, let's get going. The other way kids can make connections, relevant connections between gardening and real life, is to make sure that you are using recycled materials as much as possible. Um, using those water jug greenhouses and soda bottles and water bottles to grow the seeds in. Those are great because they're see-through. And you'll see that at the end of the video because I try to keep the seeds in those see-through pots really close to where kids can see things happening. 
Okay, so everything here is fertilized. I'm going to head back into the house and I will share with you some cute ideas for growing seedlings with your kids. <music> Okay, so we have our back door greenhouse all set up and ready to get growing. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll see you next time. Happy gardening, everybody.